The following video contains a healthy dose of real news along with satirical fake news and purely fictional news. If you cannot tell the difference, ask your parents. All content used in this video is used for satirical and informative purposes. This video in no way can properly replace the source material and in thus in no way could prevent any profits, potential or otherwise, made on them. Coming up at 11, 10 ways to tell if you're a Russian spy. This is Nexus News Monthly. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this. Hello and welcome to Nexus News Monthly, the most real source of fake news on the internet. Nintendo streamed a new Nintendo Direct, revealing a handful of games coming to the Nintendo Switch, as well as answering a couple of questions gamers have been asking. As a surprise to no one, Splatoon 2, Skyrim, and a new Mario game were announced. What was surprising is that the Switch will not have region locking and you will have to pay for online multiplayer after a free period, similar to Xbox Live. With Nintendo now having a long history of not having to pay to use their online services, this seems like one step forward and a thousand steps back. Just another entry in the long list of questionable business decisions Nintendo has made over the years. Like their decision to make an enhanced port of Mario Kart 8 instead of a new game in that series. Truly, this is one case where Nintendo should have stayed in the past. Of course, I'm sure more people are constantly concerned about the translator's job security. World of Warcraft patch update 7.1.5 hit this month. With it comes time walking for the dungeons no one was waiting for. War the it's Mist of Pandaria's dungeons. It's all ogre for members of the Ballers Guild, as Blizzard continues its sharp jumping antics with three new bosses, including Ogre Watch, a reference to both Blizzard's breakout hit Overwatch and one of the stupidest and most overused memes the internet has ever known. Micro holidays have also been added. I'm still holding up for Pony Appreciation Day. Come on, Blizzard, you know we want it. This just in, Massive Patch 7.2 has just hit the public chest reel. More on this next month. Over on the Oracle fleet, the ARCs are gearing up for the yearly Valentine's Day festivities, as well as continuing their New Year's Carnival event. Be sure to grab 2017 weapons badges in the new limited events. PSO 2D animation characters Rina, Silva, and Lilka have returned for a limited time, so grab their partner cards while you still can. Don't know why you'd want them, though. They have no mags and they don't give you any prizes for continually teaming up with them. The newest Arcs cast scratch card includes the new sexy style outfit, which is sure to be a huge hit with men, lesbians, and those pedophiles who play as unrealistic looking little girls. In Dogusatsu news, Kamen Rider Gem has leveled up to level 10 with the 9 immortal form of dangerous zombie, offing Kamen Rider Laser in the process. Clearly, once again, no writer is safe. Except x of course, because he's the main one, so if he does die, he'll just come back by the next episode. Speaking of x he too has leveled up to level 10 with the Mario Bros-inspired Mighty Brothers Double X, and has leveled up even further into the unprecedented level 20 where there are now two of him. Well, it would be unprecedented if Wizard's Dragon Forms didn't already pull something like this. Parad finally makes his move with a new gash at gear duel, transforming into Kamen Rider Paradox. Spelled with a DX, as in... Diagnosis? Is he a doctor? Does he have a connection to Emu? Only time will tell. In the Brony fandom, we finally have some closure to the Anon KP Leaks incident, as at least three of the people responsible have come forward and apologized for the rampant misinformation and character assassination, admitting that they might have been more in the wrong than KP herself, and that they had both manipulated themselves and allowed the person who ran the KP Leaks Twitter to manipulate them. Popular opinion has come to the general consensus that they probably should have cashed it out with her in the first place, and thus had avoided all the drama in the first place. While there are no clear winners in this scenario, I think we can all agree that there is one clear loser. The guy who ran the KP Leaks Twitter. The major social video sharing website DailyTube has scorned users enough for its users to have a made a mass exodus to the up-and-coming social video sharing website BitCast. This just in, 
BitCast has vanished off the face of the internet and its users are making a mass exodus to the up and coming social video sharing website ZipMe. This just in, ZipMe has shut down as the owner has a large ego and tend not to take massive amounts of criticism from skeptical users. This reporter wonders why people still trust video sharing websites. This just in, people claiming to be scorned former members of the BitCast staff are now working on a new social video sharing site, BitCast Future Jolt. Only time will tell if their endeavors will pay off. In related news, creator-driven video sharing site Reverse Snip has been sold to Rex Corp Oscorp Industries, which probably shut it down and used all the assets to improve their own telecommunication services. We go now live to Equestria, where things have been peaceful as of late with our live correspondent newspaper. Newspaper, has anything newsworthy happened over there? Well, Matthew, the Ace Brigade and the former element bearers recently set off to the far eastern land of Japoni, and it's mostly been peaceful here. Although there was an incident with a bugbear that was handled masterfully by the unlikely group that defeated Queen Chrysalis last time. Back over to you, Matthew. Well, that's all for this month's edition of Nexus News Monthly, but be sure to leave comments below or whatever and for our upcoming mailbag segment. If you would like to host a segment on the show, be sure to private message me here on YouTube, leave an ask at matthew.blog.tumblr.com, or join my Discord server and private message me on Discord, link in the description. Just know that there are deadlines that must be adhered to if you want your segment to be part of the show. Until next time, stay informed.